Okay, folks, I've got seven o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and call to order this March 14, 2023 meeting of the Board of Commissioners of the Town of White Lake. And I would ask, first of all, that you bow your heads for our invocation. Dear Lord, I wish to thank you for giving us the opportunity to be able to gather here this evening to discuss the business of our town. We ask that you guide and direct us as we attempt to do your will and to do those things that are in the best interest of the citizens of this town. These things we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Okay, next item is the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone is welcome to join in. I'd ask Commissioner Clifton, if he would, to lead us in the pledge. Pledge of Allegiance to the States of America, to the Republic, which it stands, one nation, to the God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right. Uh, first item we have, I assume all uh, commissioners have had a chance to review this. And let me mention, I, I understand that Commissioner Hilton will not be able to be with us tonight. It is his oldest son's 11th birthday, and they're having a party. And, uh, and I understand that Mr. Blunt may not be able to attend either. Uh, so not anticipating that they will be here. We do have a quorum, so we are moving forward. Uh, the first item on the agenda are the consent agenda items. I assume all the board members have under the agenda. Okay. Uh, that uh, we are going to uh, have the consent agenda items uh before i present that for a vote are there any questions that anyone has in regard to that if there are no uh questions on any of the consent agenda items i would say to you that on the agenda adoption would ask that the motion include the current agenda and to add in closed session in addition to personnel matters to add uh, 143-318.11A5 property acquisition. So moved. Motion, second. Okay. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. Uh -huh. All opposed, like sign. Uh, item number two is administrative matters. And Sean, if you will, if you would present for us the administrative matters in item eight. <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, for our first project update is the White Lake Lake Water Management Project update. Uh, we do have Diane Lawrence's report this month, and there's three topics listed on the report. The first topic does talk about rainfall and lake levels. She notes that uh, February 2023, the lake level is uh, increased to 64.2 NAVD88, which is an increase of about six inches of previously recorded data. She does also talk about uh, La Nina, even though La Nina is, is uh, continue to have influence in this region, the rainfall amounts are less than what we would expect and that uh, the region is presently categorized as abnormally dry with temperatures being well above normal for this uh, time of the year. <clears throat> she lists a couple of charts in the report. One is rainfall. Uh, by month that's uh, documented at our wastewater treatment plant. The other chart there is a lake level comparison between 2021 and 2022. She does make mention that it's important for the board and uh, the public to understand that um, we may see some more effects of a shallow lake if we don't receive uh, more rainfall and that lake users can minimize the impacts of boating activity on lake aesthetics, but it will take a concerted, consistent, and continued effort by everyone. And she goes as far as to recommend a stewardship letter to all property owners, potentially one to two stewardship workshops related to boating best practices in a shallow lake, uh, and even some, uh, possibly even some lake cleanups uh, as her suggestion. Uh, her second item in the report, the monthly report, um, she includes a chart of the study that's conducted annually for vegetation in White Lake. It's important to note here that there was no trace of hydrilla found uh, in 2022, which of course is great news uh, as it relates to the health of our lake. And on number three in her report, she mentions that rain exposes uh, stormwater pipes, uh, and she says runoff that goes into the lake. 
but there's a slight correction on this report. Um, she mentioned some pipes that are pictured in this report that drain uh, water or carry water from an asphalt street uh, to the lake, but uh, it should be noted that a previous stormwater uh, project as well as some smoke testing has proven that those pipes that are referenced specifically in this picture only drain water from existing rooftops, not the asphalt street. That water is being, um, or that water flows toward the wastewater treatment plant. And that concludes Diane's report. Town staff does have some updates on lake management that, that I'd like to share as well. Um, <clears throat> staff has recently been made aware uh, through a uh, announcement from State Parks that the Director of State Parks, Dwayne Patterson, has retired uh, from the best guess of talking internally with uh, members of State Parks. Our proposal letter for lake management is sitting in a stack of incoming mail for the new director. They have no timeline on naming a new director. They have an interim director. Uh, Brian Strong is the interim director for State Parks. Staff has uh, Resent our late management proposal letter directly to interim director Brian Strong, uh, with the understanding that eventually the new director will see it as well. And uh, staff is, while we wait on a response from the state in regards to that letter, staff is currently working with local state park representatives to do things related to maintenance uh, of outfalls of the lake, as well as preparation projects around the lake uh, for natural disasters or any type of event that the town and state parks will work together for to protect the lake and protect the, the assets and resources around the lake. Uh, staff would also like to make mention of a request from town board uh, that staff is going to, uh, as a result of our lake uh, management plan that was conducted by the Lumber River Council of Governments, staff is going to explore the possibility of adding an additional lake management position. Uh, with this position, the plan does recommend that we uh, look at a scientific consultant and staff is uh, preparing and planning to engage the state for recommendations uh, as to better build the relationship with the state and the town. Um, having said that, it's, it's my goal to come back in April with an agenda item to discuss and potentially take action on. And if there's no action to be taken in April, I'll certainly update the board, but, but that is the goal. Having said that, that's uh, all for lake management on that project update. Moving to our sewer improvement project update, that uh, work is, is basically done, should, perhaps already have been done. We have had some delays that are weather related, um, but for reference, the only items that remain in the project are final walkthrough items, final cleanup items, and final punch list items. Uh, once that project is done, staff will continue exploring and evaluating funding options for phase three of our sewer sanitary improvement project. This project is about three and a half million dollars. We did apply uh, and have applied several times in the past couple of years to the Division of Water Infrastructure's ongoing grant cycle for projects of this nature. In the last round of funding, we were denied, and most recent round of funding, we were denied. Uh, we scored a 51 on our application. The funding cutoff was 55 points, so we missed it by that much. Uh, however, we do uh, continue to work on these applications based on feedback that we get from the division and it's certainly our, our desire to uh, put together a successful application in the near future. Uh, we are working through uh, channels of alternative funding. And uh, for instance, staff is engaging with the School of Government, specifically the Environmental Finance Center, to talk through uh, rate studies and uh, conduct uh, financial analysis for uh, our enterprise accounts to continue to explore options and, and present options to town board that are fiscally responsible to continue this work. On the third project update for our Golden Leaf uh, stormwater plan, this, this update is brief in nature. I, I did update the board last month that we would be presenting an RFQ, request for qualifications, uh, publishing an RFQ, I should say, and 
That process is ongoing. We have published the RFQ. We have received some interest in that RFQ. And staff, uh, myself, Kevin Taylor, and, and a few other staff members are uh, meeting with those interested engineering parties to put boots on the ground here at the town level, look through the current infrastructure, and discuss potential opportunities before they submit proposals. So I say that to say I do anticipate that we will be receiving some very quality proposals as it relates to the amount of funding that we have and the projects that we are capable of, of doing. So the goal there is to get the most bang for our buck with the understanding that this is the beginning of stormwater management and certainly not a, a end all be all. But uh, we are working with them this week and next week and, and hope to uh, have a, uh, a proposal in front of the board in April to move forward with that Golden Leaf grant. Lastly, on our uh, White Lake Streetscape Master Plan Project, this is a USDA uh, Rural Business Development Grant. We are meeting next week as well with this engineering company to uh, discuss preliminary drawings, preliminary conceptuals, as well as spend some time walking around the community with landscape architects to continue to uh, move that project forward. Uh, that project is 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 on the right path, and uh, we anticipate. Uh, in the very near future, potentially as soon as next month, presenting a calendar to the board for some public meetings and some public input periods based on some conceptual ideas uh, to improve the streetscape around the town of White Lake, particularly on White Lake Drive. Having said that, Mayor, if there's no questions, that's that's uh, my report for this month on the project updates. All right. Any any questions from the board got, members? Yeah, just got a couple of comments, uh, Mayor. Um, I think we need to answer on probably who would do some stewardship, who would probably lead that, who would have any meetings. Um, I'm glad to see we're moving forward with the uh, some of the recommendations from the um, Lumber River Council of Governments. I think we also need to probably amend this report to make sure it reads um, about this smoke testing and all that. Just make sure that's in the in the record too. Thank you for that. We can do that. In, anything else? All right. Uh, if not, we'll move on to item three. Uh, Sean, if you will present that, that's on our uh, fiscal year budget calendar and activities. Of course, we re recently had our budget retreat uh, and went through that. We'll be proceeding further with that as we look uh, toward working on the adoption of a budget. And Sean, if you will present the budget calendar and activities is set forth in item three. Yes, sir. This is a uh, summary of the remaining budget activities to be done uh, with, with notes to the side that reference the general statutes associated with these um, calendar items, budget calendar items. There's a couple of important things to point out before uh, we, we discuss a motion the uh, under this calendar, the budget officer is the office of the town administrator, and the uh, budget committee is the mayor and the board of commissioners. Uh, I would also like to bring to your attention the uh, proposed dates for our next budget retreat, those being May 16th, May 23rd, or May 25th. And at that time, we will, uh, staff intends to present a balanced budget, uh, as well as make the budget available to public and press to begin the comment input period. Uh, with June 1st being the last day to submit the budget uh, to the governing body for a public hearing uh, on our regularly scheduled June 13th meeting. Assuming that uh, there are no uh, holdups or uh, budget items that would prevent us from doing so, uh, it is the uh, town staff's desire to have our budget adopted on, on the June 13th regularly scheduled meeting. If there are no questions, Mayor, staff is asking for the board to choose one of the three dates in May for a budget retreat and, and adopt the uh, budget calendar as presented. Okay. Uh, do we have anything showing what days that's falling on May 16, 23rd, 25th? I don't know. 16th is a Tuesday, Tuesday, the 23rd is a Tuesday, and the 25th is a Thursday. Okay, I, I generally am available uh, those days. Anybody got any 
input on that? We usually do it on a Tuesday or a Thursday. Um, uh, what time are we planning on meeting on that day? Be it uh, 6 p.m. 6, 6 yes, okay. Uh, any, anybody got a preference or know of any conflict that they would have uh, at that uh, uh, at that time? Uh, Is May twenty third? Is that will that be right before or right after the water festival? Yes. Yeah. So, the water festival third weekend of the month. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, All, be be All before. Yes, sir. Twenty fourth and twenty fifth. Well, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, I'll let them be before. Yeah. Uh, Probably would not be a good time in particular right there before Water Festival if that's where it's at. What are the dates on the first day? Is the week before the Water Festival? Yeah, I don't have any problem with the 16th if, if folks are available. With that that would jam us up with the with the Water Festival. 16th, I think. Um, 16th, 16th. All right, uh, well, what I will do at this point then is entertain a motion to approve the budget calendar as presented uh, with the understanding that the uh, adjourned meeting on May 9, uh, 2023 will go to May the 16th. And of course, we'll send you out a reminder of that. It'll be a 6 p.m. meeting. Do we so, have a motion? So moved. Motion second. <clears throat> second. Any discussion? If none, all in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, like sign. Uh, Sean, if you'll continue with uh, uh, item number four under the uh, administrative matters. Yes, sir. This is a request to utilize funds from our fiscal year 2023-2024 budget. That, that's next budget. Uh, the next year's budget, excuse me. Um, it's it's a unique request, and, and uh, I'll start off by saying that our public works director is here tonight, Kevin Taylor, to answer any technical questions on the machinery. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, we always try in the finance department here to figure out a way forward to accomplish our goals, especially uh, if we can do so without having to dip into our rainy day fund, of course, that being our fund balance. Um, in this particular situation, we've, we've got an opportunity through negotiation with uh, Ditchwich to bring in the machine that you see within your packet there, agenda item four. It's a Ditchwich uh, vacuum excavator. We use this in water and sewer. It uh, has a, a lot of uses that are very beneficial throughout the day to our public works team, particularly if there's any uh, type of emergency, they, they have the ability to respond. Um, right away. They also can use this in a preventive measure when they are working on utilities. Uh, this particular machine is outfitted with a 500 gallon uh, tank for um, uh, vacuuming up contents. It also does have a diesel with a, with a fairly heavy duty trailer. Uh, the machine is in at, uh, Public Works right now. We are looking at it uh, in terms of acquiring it uh, through the company and I would welcome any of the commissioners to take a look at it. It's very impressive uh, machinery. Uh, but having said that, we have negotiated with Ditchwich if it's the board's desire to purchase this machine in uh, next year's budget for a total of $69,769.64. For some reference there, we, we, we did purchase a new sewer jetter machine um, this year, which pushes the line clear. Uh, for a very similar total, just to let you know, we we typically can build that into our rate structure uh, and have done so several times throughout the past. But the negotiation with Ditchwich is that we provide a $6,000 rental payment up front in this budget year, which is um, not a problem. We have identified those funds that are available. Uh, that's a $2,000 payment per month, uh, per the month of April, May, and June. Uh, and that that $6,000 rental payment will be deducted from the final purchase price of the machine. So in July, uh, on July 1 of the new fiscal year, we would then submit a payment to Ditchwich for $63,769.64. Um, having said that, Mayor, I would, uh, as staff, 
recommend that the board approve this item as presented. And again, uh, Kevin Taylor is available uh, tonight to answer any technical questions uh, should the board have any on um, use for the department. All right, and and I would would add to that. I think this this is certainly not a cheap piece of equipment, but in in the long run, I think it'll actually be a money saver to the town. In the past, if we've had to pump a line out, sometimes we we literally have to call in a a vacuum truck uh, to do this. We've done it sometime in the past. It is an extremely expensive thing to do. And you can't always rely on being able to to have that in place. Like if you have a hurricane, if you have some uh, something like that come up, the, the the trucks that do that are sometimes taken up with other things. And and you know, with us being a lake town, we certainly don't want to run into any problem with anything getting to the lake. So I, I would uh, concur with staff's recommendation and very strongly recommend that we proceed with that purchase for uh, next year. I think Kevin has worked with these folks some before, has a working relationship with them, and, 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 and I think it'll be uh, an excellent thing for the town to do. Could I ask a question? Sure. I know that I, um, it does suck up sludge, I guess. So mm -hmm. could it be used to suck up algae, sludge, dead algae, over where we have the problems? Kevin would be the one to answer that. I don't know. I've never used one for that. Uh, I sludge and all that. Um, I ain't going on that. Uh, usually when you take and pull sludge, we've got a place that we can dump into like a manhole. So we only have about 500 gallons. And if we went to such an algae, I think we would fill that machine off fast and not have no way to dump it more than the whole algae in. Could, could you at least look into that though? I mean, I it, it's not a bad suggestion and I, I think you know, one other thing, Kevin, if, if I'm not trying to hoard any stuff here, but if you could, when you talk with the ditch witch people, uh, if if this could be suitable for that, it's it's certainly something we could look at, particularly around that portion of the lake, you know, where it gathers very close to the, the shoreline. And we've been looking to try to find some way to extract it uh, from there that wasn't terribly labor intensive uh you know I mean, it's just hard uh to do and get any strong result but uh, kevin when you when you check with them uh they probably have some information on that and if you would go ahead and check further in it and see if it's not uh usable for that see if they have anything else that they might could recommend that's their business uh, and I would certainly be interested too in knowing if we could uh, uh, get something through them. We have some, you know, lake management funds. I'm not wanting to give money away, but we 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 have funds that we could work on something uh, like that if we if we could find some way to extract it from the lake. The algae I'm talking about is not is not physically, yeah, you know, thick. This is Typically, it's a dead around the perimeter. It's black, starts to smell. It's very microscopic. So I would think this machine could probably handle something like that. I, I don't know. I'll find out. And and Kevin, if you want, you know, I, I mean, it's certainly all right with me. You, you're dealing with these folks, and we're getting some machine from them. Uh, if if they want or need to come down and take a look, then by all means, we'll we'll accommodate them on that. Okay, all right, okay, good, Tom. I, I appreciate your input on that, yes, and uh, hopefully that that might be something that would be able to help. That's great. Uh, okay, any anything else uh, on that before we uh, before we take a vote on? If not, I would entertain a motion that we approve that purchase as set forth in item 
uh, number four in the amount uh, indicated in the agenda. So moved. Motion second. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. No opposed like sign. Uh, Sean, if you would uh, speak to the ordinances in items 5A and 5B. Yes, sir. Uh, 5A is a fiscal year 2022-2023 budget ordinance. It is amendment 2023-07. And this is an amendment that is necessary to budget the revenues and expenditures for the purchase of a New Holland Workmaster 75 tractor uh, in accordance with North Carolina General Statute 136, uh, Chapter 41-1 through 136, Chapter 41-4, and that is the PAL bill funding uh, requirements, procurement requirements specifically. This tractor is one that we've looked at. Uh, we've looked at a couple of options in public works um, and trying to procure some equipment to give us a better handle and better maintenance of our roadway infrastructure as it relates to the towns and streets around the town in the town limits. And uh, you'll see that this is the option we came up with because it's capable of doing more than one job. Uh, and, and it sort of is a jack of all utility or jack of all trades for our utility department uh, as it relates to our street maintenance. So uh, there are three bids located in your agenda packet. Those, that's per power bill procurement guidelines. You will see some attachments uh, on the second and third bid, uh, but staff did ultimately choose to acquire the tractor with standard attachments. That's the first bid, and that is the $67,500 budget ordinance amendment you see uh, presented to you tonight in front of you. Uh, again, these monies will come out of our PAL bill reserve fund. We have been building that fund up for several years, and and do have a, a healthy balance in there currently. I think as it stands right now, we're uh, close to the $200,000 range in that fund. So this is the start of putting some of that money to work, particularly after our, or while we have a pause in our sewer sanitary improvement project. And it is, uh, staff would like to uh, bring to the board's attention that we do intend to bring forth more projects utilizing Powell Bill funds in the near future. If there are no questions on budget ordinance amendment number 2023-07, staff would ask the board to approve the ordinance amendment as presented. Are, are there any questions for staff in, in regard to that amendment? If, is the intent to, to buy those implements at some point, either the next budget year or in the near future? The attachments? Yeah. We certainly could look at that. Uh, I, absolutely. We want to keep our options open down the road for some of that, especially if we decide we do need uh, some of the attachments that are listed out in those second and third quotes. Okay. Any other questions for Sam? If if not, I would entertain a motion that we approve budget ordinance amendment number 2023-07 as presented. Motion to approve as presented. Motion, is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. Uh, any opposed like sign and showing that you'll get item B under ordinances. Yes, sir. This is an ordinance. It's ordinance 2023-08. This ordinance is requesting, uh, uh, declaring a road closure rather for the White Lake Water Festival Parade that takes place the morning of the, the Saturday morning of the festival. This ordinance is uh, one that we've done in years past, and if approved by the board, this will close uh, State Road 1515, or as we know at White Lake Drive, between North Carolina Highway 53 and US 701 for the times of 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Saturday, May 20th, uh, 2023. Uh, if approved by the board, then staff will send this uh, to the, the DOT and, and follow all uh, requirements uh, as requested generally during a road closure process by the DOT. Having said that, it is staff's recommendation for the board to approve the ordinance as presented. This is something we do annually. Any questions on that? 
If not, I would entertain a motion that we approve the uh, ordinance for road closure as presented. Motion to approve this presented. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed, like sign. And Sean, if you'll get the code of ordinance amendment in item number six. Yes, sir. This is a in response to a request by the board last month to look at our water leak adjustments. And uh, staff has had some internal conversations with our collections department. Uh, with Tina uh, Merritt Smith and and um, Kimberly Atkinson, and we have come to the conclusion that uh, the change that we feel we need is a very minor change. Uh, but in your board packet, you'll see what the current ordinance does state in relation to adjustment of charges on agenda item six, and then the subsequent page there in relation to the disconnection and reconnection of utility service. Uh, staff is requesting or proposing that the board amend this policy to to eliminate the following phrase of only one time per calendar year and only and i know that sounds confusing so i'll read the proposed change into the record under this policy the customer has the right to request adjustments to his or her billing with acceptable proof as described in chapter 51-17 and 51-17 does state that a water and sewer customer requesting an adjustment shall be required to furnish a statement by a licensed plumber stating the nature of the water sewer problem and a copy of the paid bill or obtain the approval of the town's public works director prior to presenting his or her request to the town clerk uh, for the agenda packet. If there are no questions, Mayor, staff again is requesting to remove the one, only one time per calendar year and only section of the ordinance and amend it to how it was previously read. If you recall, this was brought up at the last meeting and we had some discussion on that. That, that didn't seem like an equitable thing to do in, in limiting that as long as we were requiring proof as, as we always have in the past. And I uh ask you to consider also now you know when the release is done understand that's a release on wastewater charges uh not a release of the water that is used uh because we're having to furnish the water but if there is a leak we're we're not having to treat that water because it's it's going outside the system um so with that in mind i think this is in uh in concert with what the commissioners requested at the last meeting and therefore i would entertain the motion that we uh amend the provisions of 51.21 as set forth in the agenda and it would specifically remove those words that are underlined of the quote only one time per calendar year and only close quote so moved. Motion second. Second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor indicate by saying aye. Uh, uh, any opposed, like sign. Item number seven is uh, other business and previous agenda items. Uh, the town administrator's report, tax collector's report, and all of our various departmental reports, including police, fire, and public work, are contained for your review and uh, of course are available through staff to anyone attending the meeting that would like to see those they're available here through your town and uh, so just want to make you aware of those there's no action to be taken on it and at this time uh, we have a couple of special uh, recognitions uh, it, it, I, I always take a great deal of pride and pleasure in uh, making recognitions for our town employees. Uh, we do have some excellent employees in the town of White Lake, uh, and, and I know from being with them that they are good, hardworking people. We are, are blessed to have the folks working for us that we do have, and uh, at this time, we have two uh, uh, matters to present. Uh, based upon certifications received by town employees. One 
is Town of White Lake Police Officer Winford Nichols has completed his intermediate law enforcement certificate. There's a lot of hours and a lot of work that go into that. And the Town of White Lake tax collector, Tina Merritt Smith, who is here, has completed her certified tax collector certificate. And, and again, it's just a pleasure to work with people who, who take the initiative uh, on their own to pursue these things. Uh, they don't have to do that. Uh, but it, it just shows uh, what type of employee they are and how dedicated they are to the town and their work. And, and I congratulate both of you on doing this. And at this time, I'll, uh, on behalf of the board, uh, I will present uh, both of these uh, employees with their certifications. Uh, Winford, if you come up first, I've got yours uh, right here in front. And I think Pat can get a uh, picture and have the same. Okay. This is uh, uh, from the Department of Justice, the State of North Carolina, North Carolina Criminal Justice Education and Training and Standards Commission. By virtue of the authority vested in the law of the state and the recognition of the satisfactory completion of the basic training requirements and the demonstrated ability to perform those tasks required as a criminal justice officer. The North Carolina Criminal Justice Education and Training Standards Commission hereby awards to Winford Aaron Nichols his certificate for intermediate law enforcement. Congratulations. Uh, I hear nothing but good reports on you. I think you have been well received by the folks in this town, and we we look forward to working with you. And, and we thank you for your dedication on it. I want to present you all picture. Uh, several. And you. And thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Second one, Tina. If you come up, please, ma'am. And I apologize. I'm standing right here in front of the board. I need to get out of the way. Uh, uh, I want to present this. This is North Carolina Tax Collectors Association. This is a certified that Tina Merritt Smith has been found qualified by the certification board of the North Carolina Tax Collectors Association and is hereby declared to be a certified tax collector, together with all the rights, benefits, and privileges there to pertain, dated August 16, 2022, uh, and signed by the chairman of the certification board and the president of the North Carolina Tax Collectors Association. So, Tina, again, congratulations. I thank you so much for your dedication uh, in, in what you do for the town and, and your taking the time and spending the effort to, to better yourself in your job. And we greatly appreciate that. And again, just like I, I mentioned with our police officer, you know, the, the input that I get from citizens is that. Uh, that, that you and Angela the co work with that and so on, uh, uh, folks that deal well with the people in the town of White Lake, they enjoy dealing with you, and, and, and we appreciate that. We know it's not always an easy job. But again, thank you very much. And thank you. 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 Really is good folks here. All right. Uh, the uh, next is the open forum. That's three minutes per citizen. If anyone wants to address the board, now is your time to do that. You need to state your name and address, and you will be given three minutes to address the board. Terry, if you'll pull that button up on the microphone, it says mute. If you'll just pull it up towards you, it'll come on there. Uh, Karen Hawley. Um, I just sent you guys an email of a conversation I had this week, last week. Um, a hydrologist that is with DEQ Payable Office fully believes that our groundwater was compromised in Blueberry Farm. 
It is now a wetlands that can no longer be used to grow blueberries. Um, and it is his hope that we can get into that property, check it out, check the elevation and check the pH of that water. And if indeed it is our springs and groundwater, possibly um, a conservancy could buy the property for us, for the town, um, so that we can get our groundwater back. So this is the, what I sent you is the email I sent Breck and Breck's response. And he said he wouldn't talk to me anymore because I'm not a representative of the town. So with that information, I hope that y'all will make that happen. It won't cost anything. The survey's already been paid for. The survey, surveyors are lined up. Um, DEQ from Fayetteville is on go to come down here. We just have to get on the property. Are there any questions? Because I've done a lot of work about this and I might can answer questions if you've got them. Two years ago, Dean took um, DEQ and um, academic on the property. And the water table was very low at the time and nothing was determined. Now that the water table is higher um, and he has done more research, he thinks it's where water is. Um, he also has legal um, cases that would stand with us saying it was our water first. Um, I know environmental things have lots of issues and your property is yours to the center of the earth, but in a case like this, the water was coming to our lake before it was interrupted on the blueberry farm. So please do something with that information. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Okay, anyone else wish to address the board? Yeah, if not uh, at this time, we do have a closed session and we mentioned at the agenda adoption and at this time I would entertain a motion that we go into closed session pursuant to uh, NCGS 143-318.11A6 and 143-318.11A5. So moved. Motion second. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. Uh, Any opposed like sign.
like to entertain a motion that we I would like to entertain a motion that we go out of closed session and return to regular session. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. Uh, Any opposed like sign? We are back in regular session after having spent uh, 30 minutes or thereabouts in uh, closed session. We do have one item to, uh, to take uh, action on. And at this time, I will, it's in the personnel session. At this time, I would entertain a motion. Get this in front of me that we uh, do a an addendum and modification to the current town administrator employment agreement, uh, and there are several items to that. Uh, number one, that we grant a term extension. The uh, contract now ends. February 22, 2024, and that we extend that contract to, this will be a little different from what you were expecting, to June 30, 2027, instead of February 22, to put for the, our accounting purposes, to put the, the time on an equal footing with uh, with with the other financial uh, pay matters that we have for the for the town, uh, and as a second item, that we amend the severance provision to uh, to increase uh, the uh, uh, severance salary by uh, one month salary for each year of service at the current rate of pay provided such severance payments shall not exceed an amount equal to nine months salary. And third, that we change the employee address to 311 Dahl Street, Elizabethtown, NC, 28337. And those are the items that we're going to take action on tonight. I will state that we are are also during this budget process going to look at uh, a an increase to the salary base salary of the town administrator uh, and take action in regard to that during our current budget session so that any salary increase uh, that is given would also fall within our budget year and would be on the fiscal year uh, June, July 1 through June 30. Uh, and as far as I know, that's it. The only other statement I would make is where we, we need to we can bring this up if y'all would like to. I mean, we've got to work on our budget and we've got to put it in there. So I'm suggesting to you that we go ahead right now and say that we can put this back on uh, for closed session discussion at the April meeting so we can get it ready for our, our current budget. Is that okay. agreeable with, it, with everybody? That is in regard to the compensation. The other, yes. on the first three items that I mentioned, I would like to entertain a motion to approve the term extension, the severance amendment, and the notice provision. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor indicate by saying aye. Uh, aye. All opposed, like sign. Uh, uh, Sean, the only other thing I'd say is I think everyone was very complimentary of uh, what uh, you are doing at this time, and uh, we still want to get a little input from you and and see what we need to do in the salary line for our upcoming fiscal year. Sounds good, uh, Mayor. If I may, uh, certainly I I want to say to the you and the board, it's it's been a it's been an honor and a privilege so far over the past couple of years to work with each and every one of you. 
it's not often that somebody gets to enjoy coming to work as much as I enjoy coming to work at the town of White Lake. And, and I thank all of you for the opportunity to continue doing that uh, over the next several years through this contract extension. I also want to say how excited I am to uh, raise a son now in, uh, with my wife, Casey, in Bladen County and specifically here in White Lake. And uh, again, continue to get this opportunity to make a difference in a, in a place I grew up. I, I want you all to know that that just means more to me. And it's, uh, it's something I don't take lightly. So again, thank you. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Well, we, we appreciate all the work you do and, and just, just keep up the good work. Uh, unless we have anything else to bring before us tonight, I would entertain a motion. Obviously, we don't have to adjourn to any date certain at this point. We don't have anything else set up. And so I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed, better not say anything. <laughs> it's unanimous.